We're broadcasting from New Fear Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills, and the world-famous waterfall, Viagra Falls. I've never seen a waterfall that goes straight up before. It's weird. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder, Bricks Jr. Take me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, you know, they're all in politics, apparently. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down and one. First down, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down in a mile. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. you got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. you got to make that catch. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Whoa. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. Oh, man, he 
shake that. There goes my spread. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snags. He got hit by a car and died. And I just tell that story. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten <laughs> second down and more than and the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. and in some leagues you aren't even allowed to touch the qb in the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And then I'll bring up second and one. Hot. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Ring. What the high Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Luke Warm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down in a very lot. 
First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. Misfired punt will give the opposing team great. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic blast dirty trick. Well, my ears are bleeding. Another... Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Second down in a lot. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. And that's a catch for three yards. Third down and long. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. First and eight to go. That's a four-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, he just got crushed. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump again. You just went. How is that even possible? Ah! Man, want some? Oh. 
And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me that he fumbles at bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Second and three. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Nicely done for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. And that's how you run the football. First down. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up like Brandon Noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. With moves like that, you know he's got a screw loose. Hey, can we get a handyman out there? Somebody? Drew? They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandpa. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot. It's about a three-yard pickup. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs>
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Pow! With the brain scrambler. And that'll be second and eight to go. catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Third down and six. <laughs> he had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nice. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Hot today. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Yeah. And it's first and ten. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but. This guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, big it at yours. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my fouls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Hey man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. 
Nice pass that catches good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And that'll bring up third down and seven. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, man. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down in a very lot. It's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Third down in forever. thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and seven. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and a lot. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Third and four. Quarterback passes for.
for a touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope for him. First them, then vampires, then mermaids. Then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown! comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And he gets three yards on that run. And it's first and ten. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Griff, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Boom!
And it's first and ten. There are too many like every one of my barbecues. This guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. Second down and more than the QB would like. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Brent. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I don't listen to this blasphemy. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And, and that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Huh? Huh? I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> their last time out. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Second down in a mile. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and never going to happen. 
That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The Snuffle Frills went on their home turf and snuff out the opposition. Those guys are dead, dead, dead. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because well, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scouts, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right.